no, 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 no. Hi, it's Paul from Team Inept, and welcome to episode one of Dovetail Games' Euro Fishing. This this is a fishing game. I don't know why I'm putting myself through this, other than so you guys don't have to. So, I've never played this before. I've got no idea what I'm doing. I'm going to dive in, and I'm going to... I'm gonna sink or swim. Oh no, oh no, 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 the puns, the puns already. So let's go. ULA, yeah. Scroll down, scroll down, come on. You're reading this, right, guys? Yeah, yeah. Got all that? <coughs> There'll be a test afterwards. Faster, 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 faster. Come on, I want to play fishing games. Oh, I have to add a character. First, I'm just going to make a slight tweak to the broadcast overlay on the mixer, because it's in a really awkward place. There we go. Add character. Mail one, mail two. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, that's, that might be the one. They have a lady. I want that. Yeah, I want this guy. Name. Confirm. Oh yes. Rank novice carp angler. Well, I reckon carp is the right four letters. Oh, let's go. Don't know what the character who would want to do that. Academy. Discover everything you need to know about well, about angling. Freedom fishing. Live to oh. Oh, guys, guys, live tournament. We've got to do one of those at some point. That'll be fun. Fun. So let's start with the academy. Let's try a few tutorial tutorials. Basics. We've got fish on. If, like me, you actually quite like River Monsters, the TV show. Fish on. Yeah. Stalking. That... Stalking is one of the most exhilarating tactics for when fishing, fishing for specimen fish. It's real close quarters action. In this lesson, you will be shown how to stalk fish and to form an underarm casting. St stalking fish? Okay. Wait, a little tiny rocket launcher. Mul Ooh, extra time multi ball. Awesome. Go for the basics. Ten acres, ninety. Oh, nineteen new boss fish. There are boss fish in this game. Jeez, this is going to be interesting. So, as this is episode one of hopefully a very long and very distinguished series, I'm planning to play this and as many other seemingly awful and or low rated games as I can possibly find on Welcome Game to Pass, the Dovetail Games, games with Gold Fishing Academy. And it's a beautiful any, day here at the water's cheaper, edge basically. of the observatory lake. There's a slight breeze blowing across so the water and the conditions are perfect to learn the key skills you'll need to successfully catch fish yeah, no matter well, here we go. Before the lesson starts, have a walk around and get used yes. to the controls. Oh, hang on. Trolls. 
Invert Y. For Christ's sake. It doesn't have Invert Y on. You know why. There we go. To walk my character, this is a bit more involved than I thought it would be. Well, it looks like you got the hang of it, which is good. Otherwise, it would have been a long day. This is going to make me angry. Awesome! We've got a number of pegs on this lake for you to set up your gear. You should be able to spot a peg by looking for a sign like this. For now, let's claim this peg and get your gear ready for fishing. Cool, I shall choose this peg and begin pegging. When you claim a peg, it's yours. No one else can fish from the same peg as long as your gear is in it. Bear in mind though, if you walk too far away... Okay, it's time to talk about your fishing tackle. Right, your rig and bait are just two of the tools in your tackle. arsenal to catch fish. Choosing the right rig and bait combination is essential to catching carp. When you're holding a rod, you can change your rig and bait by simply opening your inventory and choosing new ones. We'll explain our different setups work in another lesson. For now, just change your rig and bait to whatever you like the sound of. Oh, you don't? I shall play with my tackle. Right, what we got? Stiff rig, yeah. Close your inventory when you're happy with the tackle options you've chosen. What we got? No. All right, that'll do. Right, you've claimed your peg and you've got your end tackle set up. Next, I'm going to talk you through how you cast in Dovetail Games Fishing. Start off by walking up to the front of the peg. When you're near the edge of the water, you should be able to open the bail arm, hold the line, and get into a casting position. Basic cast control, cast by filling up a power meter. Alright, that makes reasonable sense, so it's it relies on me not overshooting or under underperforming. Cool. Total cast control allows you to choose when to release the line. Alright, well, I'll start with basic, I'll see if I can get the grips with that. Tap L. And let's Oh, right trigger, hold to increase casting. Uh, oops, and I overshot. Good start. And... Oh. Oh, it's in the water. That's a start. You can gauge the bed type by feeling the vibration through the rod when the bait hits the lake bed. Knowing what you're fishing over is essential. You'll want to use rigs and baits that are better suited to the particular bed type. I don't know why, but this seems slightly more complicated than I imagined it would be. Okay. Hold left trigger to reel in my line. Yeah, the fishies. Bring it in so I can recast. Come on. Press A to catch the fish. Oh, oh, did I catch a fish? Have I caught a fish? I I don't even know how I did that. But on the upside, that's 25 gamer score for for I don't even know. <laughs> Top stuff. We're all done for today. In this lesson, we've shown you how to claim a peg, perform an overarm cast, and how to reel in your line. And since Hold you've up. been such a Get good student, it. I'm going to give you some tackle points. You can use these to unlock new gear in the tackle shop, which you'll find on the main menu. On top of that, you've also managed to bag yourself some experience points. Experience points, otherwise known as XP, represent how much experience you have as an angler. Yes, mate, I know where XP is. I've been playing games a fair while. I'm not exactly good at them, but I know where XP is. So 
have another look in the academy, shall we? Ish on. Because this is going to be where I actually start to understand a little bit more about what on earth I'm doing. Maybe. No, I've got no clue, have I? Load up, come on. Let's remember to talk when nothing's happening on the loading screens. Welcome back for another lesson. I know you want to get on with things and catch big fish, but everyone has to start somewhere. And trust me, when you're on the bank with a fish on, you'll thank me for this. Grab your rod and let's get started. Yeah, let's get started, come on. Let's go and catch that Just like before, fish. head for a peg and unload your gear. Uh... We have this peck. Yeah, let's. let's now let's, let's talk watercraft. Take a minute and have a look at where craft. you're fishing from. Nice. You can see there's a decent margin on the opposite side of the lake, with some overhanging trees and some reeds. An ideal place for a carp to hang out. Almost anyone can cast a rod out and wait for the occasional fish, but it requires skill and technique to catch big fish consistently. Things that That's I don't where watercraft have comes skill into play. And technique. One element of watercraft is looking for the visual cues. Keep an eye out for splashing, shows, and small feeding bubbles. These all indicate that there are fish in the area, and this is where you need to be targeting. Nice. That's going to be. Now, it looks like there's a lot of weed over there. That'll make things harder. Weed is a fish's dream and an angler's nightmare. If you're using a bottom bait and you cast into weed, your bait will be hidden and the fish won't find it easily. It can also tangle your line and help the fish escape your hook. So, when fishing over a weed bed, try using something that sits above it. A chod rig would do the job. Don't worry if you don't have one, you chod can just rig. use mine for now. But I oh, want it nice. back at the end of the lesson. He's lending me his chod rig. Very generous. Um. Bed type silk, gravel presentation. Well, I can't work out how to change that because. Oops. A stiff rig sized. Well, let's. Let's just use those then. Because I've got no idea. Right, so I want to cast. Now, I'm guessing to where that marker is. It's not. When you're ready, cast oh, okay. out to the weeds so on the far bank. That. Don't worry if you don't hit them first time, just reel in and try again. Although, try not to do that too often, or you might spook the fish. Oh, nailed that. Gee. Yeah. Result! I'm gonna get a bit technical with you now, so pay attention. Your line is attached to a reel on your rod, and all reels are fitted with an adjustable drag system. The drag system is what sets how much resistance there is for the fish to pull line out from the reel. So if you set it to its lowest setting, the fish will pull the line out easily and swim further away. But if you set the drag system to its maximum, the fish won't be able to pull line from the reel at all. It's locked up and the fish is going nowhere. Let's put that into practice. Try increasing the drag on the reel to 90%. Tell me how. Okay, up on me deep end. Okay, if you had a fish on, it would find it difficult to pull line out from your reel. Bear in mind though, when you have your drag set this high, you're adding more tension to the line, and that could lead to losing the fish. To monitor your tension, take a look at your drag system. When you have a fish on, you'll be able to see how much tension there is on the line by checking the tension gauge. Blue shows you when the tension is low, and red shows you when the tension is high. The two indicators at each end are there to show you when you're in real danger of losing the fish. You don't want to be in here, so adjust your tensions accordingly to get out of the danger zone. 
Danger zone. With that in mind, yeah. let's lower your drag to something a little easier on the fish. Something like 30%. When the drag is set this low, the fish will be allowed to take the line with a little bit of resistance, but it shouldn't be enough to lose the fish. The trade-off with setting the drag too low is that the fish can easily take the line and head for things that could snag it. You really want to keep the fish away from reeds on the bank and weed beds. If the fish makes it to those spots, then it might well be game over. Now, if you're lucky enough to have a fish on and you're reading it in, my advice is to keep an eye on the fish's movements and what's around it. Constantly check the tension to make sure you have enough to reel in the fish, but not too much that it escapes. Think you're ready to take on a fish? Not really, mate, but we'll give it a go. You've got a bite. Time to oh, see hello. if you've been paying attention. Start off by oh, reeling in to tighten way. the line and help set the hook. But keep an eye on the tension. If you lose this fish, you'll owe me a new chod rig. Now stop reeling for a second. You don't want to add too much tension to the line. You can pull the fish in by literally pulling the rod back and then reeling in the slack line. Try it. Pull the rod back right, over so your head. Pulls that back. See the tension on the rod? Now move the rod forward and reel in the slack line. Careful now. When there's too little tension on the line, there's a chance of the fish escaping by throwing the hook. But when there's too much tension, well, you can pretty much guess what's going to happen. New chod rig for me. See what happens. Let's get this fish close to the bank so we can net it. You can move the rod to the side if you want to pull the fish in a certain direction. That's your tactic for pulling fish away from weed beds and guiding the fish. Quality stuff. You're almost ready to net this fish. More. Just reel it in a little closer. Don't forget to pull the rod back and reel Whee. in the slack line to bring the fish in properly. Oh, look, there it is. Here we go. Make or break time. It's time to net the fish. Start off by picking up the net. Check it out. You've caught yourself a beautiful common carp. You've also bagged yourself some experience and tackle points. Let's get this little fella back in the water and we'll call it a day. No, I don't want to put it back in the water. I want to take it home and have dinner. And that's it. In this lesson, we've covered how to reel in a fish, how to manage... I don't really fancy doing stalking. Right. Let's just try a bit of freedom fishing, shall we? Let's try and catch some fish. Green tench, roach, and carp. fishing. Um, I don't have a clue where to go. Let's go here, because there's a few peg locations nearby. Um, um, um. 
guessing is a peg location right here. Yep. I'm not going to try total cast control yet. Because, because, no. Alright, so let's have a look at my inventory. What we got, what we got. Bed type silk, bed type float. I'm guessing that's something that will sit higher up. Oh, I just saw a little fishy wiggle knot. Presentation sink. I'm gonna go for I'm gonna go for that hook and the blood worm because I've got no clue what I'm doing. Saw a splash way down there. This way. I'll tell you, this isn't exactly dramatic rock and roll sport, is it? Yeah, let's, let's just get a, let's just get a, a rod in the water, shall we? I thought, I don't think I ever shot that one. Oh, this one's right. There's a fish near there. <coughs> so I don't know how long I should wait. You can't run, you can't click to run, helpful. <sighs> Get to that, what looks like a peg just 
the other side of that sign. No running, no barbecue, no, no fish. I don't know. That little uh, edit tackle box. Okay. I don't know we can edit a tackle box. Oh, there's a fish right there. Well, there was. Oh, there's my tent. something out across the far side there. Ah. Reset the cast because 12 yards ain't worth it. Do that'll do. Okay, letting that sink a bit because it must be reason to reason. Drag up. It's, it makes me feel like I know what I'm doing. Then. Put it that way, put it that way. If I change angle. No, that camera angle doesn't help any. fish there. Hmm. So the question is, are those little little patches I can see on the top of the water where fish are? Let's try and hit them. on my do I have a fish? No I don't do I no there's Felt a little tug on the rod, but short cast Going into the middle of those bits. Sink a little. That's already. Man is not happy. I don't blame him. Alright. Oh, that went where I was aiming. Oh. 
No. It was too quick on the drill there, I think. Standing in the water. You can apparently fish with three rods at a time. I can't work out how to use one. Alright, so let's just try and get a nice... Bad cast. Great. Oh, that's not so bad. Right, let's try putting down the rod. Because... Might as well. Pick up rod. Seem to have found a different rod. Uh. I have, I have a bite. I have a bite. I actually had a bite. I actually had a fish on my rod. that. I want to get a nice long distance on my... Uh, no. Oh well. Reset. If I can actually catch a fish, that'd be amazing. Oh, that's interesting. There's actually, I see, if I left stick, I can shortcast. So that's a little underarm flick for something. There's something right nearby, maybe. Useful. So I can go back to long cast with a click of mid left stick. Sure, you guys are all enjoying this as much as much as I am. Hello. Come. Come on, fishy, 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 fishy. Come on. understand what I'm doing. Let's keep the draw speed up a little bit. Oh, what's that bleeping noise? For once it's not me. Let's come on, come on, come on. Come on, fishy, fishy, fishy. Here, yeah, fishy, fishy, fishy. I've just got a catch button. I got it. Did I, did I, did I, have I just caught a fish? Have I just caught a fish? Ha 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 I did it. <laughs> I have no idea how I managed that. Five pound, fifteen ounce bream. Lovely. So, 
as you can see, I'm now a fishing genius. I don't know how I did it. I don't know what any of the bleeping noises meant. Awesome. Alright, let's chuck him back in the water, shall we? So, record is £5.15 ounces of dreamy goodness. So, see if I can beat that. Turn that down. Drop my drag down a bit lower. Just get a hint of a bite. No, I didn't. Of course, I didn't. Still chuffed to manage to catch a fish. Yeah. Reel that in a bit. Reel it in a lot and recast, shall we? Because I'm, I'm impatient. Am I standing in the water? Yes, I am. I'm still standing in the water. Oh well. to be able to do, and I guess you can do that with full control, is tell, is set your little um, icon to where you want to cast to, and that's what determines how good your aim is. Uh, you know. No, nope, overshot. Let's see how far it goes. 15 yards, no. Nope. Reset cast. That's a little bit short. A little bit short, but... Yeah. 31 yards will do nicely. Let's let that sink to the bottom. A little bit of a tug to make fish uh, make make fish think they're something exciting. Come on, fishy, tasty, tasty. tasty. I suspect this means that. Trying to catch a fish in the middle of the lake is actually just a bit pointless. Let's try and do what bung it where I thought it was before. Let's go. Let's go there. No, overcast again. Back in because it went too short. Ah, perfect cast. Beautiful. That's going to go hundreds of yards and just catch a fish and wheel straight in, right? incredibly tedious. It might be better with... Oh, 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 I've got a little bleepy noise. Fish, 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 fish. Hello, little fishy. Turn up. Oh, oh that thing. My tightness. Let's be able to pull the... F my, um... Controllers buzzing as I reel in. Especially every time I tap the, the left trigger, I'm getting a little buzz to sort of say, pulling in, pulling in. Let's, come on, let's come over here. Come on. No, 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 you're not going anywhere, you little. This way, this way, come this way, come this way. Oh. Die! 
gift. <sighs> Macy, I don't know if that was because I had it too taut, too too slow, if I just pulled in quickly if it would have brought me in or not. I don't know. But I'm thinking over there somewhere is a good place to cast. <laughs> Two perfect casts in a row. I'm amazing. I may well be the best fisherman on Mixer. Just leave that there. Wait patiently. Impatiently. Still nothing. Still nothing. Come on, fish. Nothing. Let's pull the rod in a tiny bit. Turn down my... Oh. Speed. Come on. Really? Let's try again. I'm impatient. I've caught a fish though, that's good enough. <laughs> Whatever else happens on this stream, I'd say I'm a fish catcher. I don't think that's the thing that says it's at the bottom of the bottom of the water. Let's see if um, I was hoping it would show me oh no, hang on, the achievements things over there. 77 achievements. I am 59% of the way towards catching a specimen bream. Oh, I've got fish on. Let's speed that rod up a bit. Let's try pulling him in faster. If I should, how much I should feather the, th say the throttle, gain either way to tighten it up and loosen it off. So I don't know what a specimen bream qualifies as. What size? Overcast, but it's not a bad distance. I should leave it there. It's all action, this, isn't it? Absolute rock and roll. Just heard something make a bleepy noise, but I don't know what it was. Whee! Let's roll, reel that right back in. It's more fun casting than anything else.
a 33 yard, that's not too bad. Turn down me tightness on my on my reel. What game I'll play next? I've seen a few interesting candidates. Things I've got. It's a lacrosse game. Game Pass, that may be a. Else. I noticed a couple of um, vintage original Xbox games that might be 